a local festival is bringing together dozens of artists to participate in the largest tour to date in Placer County. Molly Real is live in Roseville getting a little taste of what you can expect at this weekend's big event. Hi, Molly. Yes, this is such a special event going into its 29th year. It is the Placer Artist Studio Tour. It is two weekends this year and it features 109 local artists, 109. Such a great opportunity for the artists and for the people who appreciate the artists as well. This is Gia. She is the tour coordinator as well as an artist. Yeah. So for folks who aren't familiar with this tour, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so this tour is such an opportunity for the public to drive around, visit artists in their studios, which is a very intimate setting. They can watch them actually do their work and yes, they can purchase art as well. In addition to the 109 artists though, we have six art galleries, four art schools and two music schools for the first time ever on tour. And we're gonna have music playing in studios on the tour as well. Such a great way to bring the community together to support local art. And you said this tour has really helped kickstart people's careers, which is amazing. Absolutely. In fact, I would have to say that I'm a person who could attribute uh, my career being launched through the tour. Yeah. So, and I'm not the only one. If you go meet these artists, it's really an amazing story. It's so special. Now, there are many ways to experience this tour. One is to, as you said, go around, visit the studios, visit the, the schools, the galleries. Uh, here at Blue Line Arts in downtown in Roseville, though, uh, you have a great opportunity to get a taste of the tour, as it's called. Uh, all 109 artists are featured here. Absolutely. And we had this amazing event. Uh, 450 people here it was packed <laughs> to the gills. Although that has passed, this place is going to be, have this exhibit up through November 20th. And it's a great place to visit and plan your tour. Yeah. See what you want to go see. Yeah, get a little taste. And then you can choose which artist to visit. So this is Kristen Marshall with Blue Line Arts. You had a bit of a challenge to it, kind of curate this entire gallery Completely. filled with so many different kinds of art, but you did a great job. It was an amazing opportunity. Our gallery coordinator and our directors, Brooke and Mary Tess, did a wonderful job of showcasing each and every artist and laying it out in a way that draws the eye and brings attention to our vibrant arts community in Placer County. And such a benefit of those of us on the tour, but also for the artists to be featured in a gallery like Blue Line Arts is pretty incredible. It is, completely. Okay, so Karen over here, uh, Karen is a co-chair of the Placer Artist Tour. You were talking to me about this year and how you're looking at each of these pieces of art and there's so much hope in them. There is hope and the future coming out of this pandemic, I see that these artists have been spent time in their studios really thinking about the future and being hopeful and joyful. Yeah, and speaking of the future, of course, this tour is really helping to build the new generation of artists as well, which is so important. This is what's so important in having the art and music schools on this tour, because these are the people that are creating the next generation of artists. We're also extremely fortunate to have several lead donors who have pledged $350,000 to a legacy fund which will support this tour into its 30th year and into perpetuity. Incredible. Uh, now, Karen here, you're also holding the actual tour guide. I just want to show folks. You can come here to Blue Line Arts uh, and pick up one of these, and it gives you just the maps throughout all of Placer County. So you see Lincoln, Roseville, Rockland, Granite Bay, et cetera, et cetera. So many places to experience. Exactly. And, and stories. We have lots of stories about our artists and sponsors. So it really is a family. It's a family and a community of artists here in Placer County. Exactly. There's something extraordinary to putting a face and a story and a name to a piece of art. In this case, Gia, who is also an artist. This is hers. Uh, and so it's just so special to be able to do that. And uh, like I said, support local art. So uh, the dates for the tour, Gia? Yes. So that is the next two weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It is November 11th, 12th, 13th, and 18th, 19th, and 20th. And in addition to the tour guide, we have an amazing website. It's got artist profiles, gallery profiles, interactive maps, events, and a chance to win $100 in art bucks and other prizes if you pre-register for the tour. All right. How's that for a little taste? <laughs> we'll send it back to you. We'll take it. Indeed. Thanks, Molly.